When I first walked into this space, I was really amazed at how grand it was. I walked in these high ceilings, the beautiful bank of windows north facing. But what was strange about it is the kitchen was sort of sandwiched into this corner. There was all this unused space that we knew in a creative redesign we could put to much better use. Not surprisingly, we built the whole kitchen around that stunning Lacanche range that our clients just went mad for. And we designed a custom hood to pair with it. We wanted that wall to be really the highlight in the kitchen. So we sort of eliminated the notion of upper cabinets so that nothing would distract from both the range and the range hood. But of course, when you get rid of uppers, you need to sort of figure out where that storage goes. So we created these two beautiful freestanding cabinets on the opposite wall, one of which houses a fully stocked bar. So for the holidays, it's just absolutely wonderful for entertaining. And the other cabinet houses all their dry goods and actually has a pullout for coffee and their espresso maker. So we've got morning on one side and evening on the other. And in between, we have this really cozy banquette where they sit for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's their everyday dining spot. The sitting room was existing, so we didn't actually have to create a sitting room. We just updated it a bit. We brought in some rugs, new furniture. The fireplace was working, but the mantle was pretty nondescript, didn't really fit with the new cabinetry that we put in. So we designed a new mantle, painted it black, so it's kind of got that old world and new juxtaposition. The biggest thing we did in the sitting room, though, is we moved the television, which was above the fireplace, and we tucked it into the end of the island. Anybody who knows me knows that I really hate televisions over fireplaces. It's that lost opportunity of a great work of art. So when we moved it into the island, we were able to go out and get this fantastic Vicki Smith work that just really does it in that space. They absolutely love it. One of the styles we really wanted to emulate in this kitchen is sort of an old world European kitchen. And we did that in a couple ways. The cabinetry style is classic and traditional. It's a face frame kitchen. We chose traditional shaker, but with a really pretty bead detail. We really sweated the details on the hardware. And in this kitchen, there's actually four styles of hardware. So we have the unlacquered brass pulls on the blue lowers. I didn't love how the brass looked against the upper, so we chose round knobs that are black and brass. And then finally, on the pantry and the bar, we just have black. So it's those details that really, I think, take this kitchen up a notch. Subway tile, subway tile, subway tile, but subway tile with a contrasting grout ups the ante a bit. And again, it's that sort of European, Parisian, bistro style kitchen. You see a lot of contrasting grout in Europe or in Paris. When we were dressing this kitchen for the holidays, we didn't want to go full reindeer and Santa. It just felt more refined to just bring in boughs of cedar and a bit of eucalyptus. Simplicity was more the look we were going for for the holidays. My clients actually entertain a lot and when the bar is open and the table is set and the sitting area is welcoming with the fireplace, the food is on the island, it's just this grand, awesome entertaining space.